Hello everyone and welcome to 7th lecture of uh, uh, Global Navigation Satellite Systems and Applications. And in this uh, discussion today we are going to uh, discuss a, a new uh, system which is Baidu and uh, which is a Chinese navigation satellite system. So, also in short it is called BDS. As you, as you can see that uh, Baidu is a uh, developed later on after uh, first the GPS that is Navistar GPS of US and then uh, uh, GLONASS of uh, USSR. So, little later after that the Chinese also started developing uh, this system. Originally this system was planned to have a regional navigation satellite system uh, with uh, only 14 satellites and uh, now it has been expanded for at global scale. So, it is also a global positioning system like your uh, GPS and GLONASS. And uh, the global system this uh, consists of 5 uh, geostationary earth orbit satellites. The design of Baidu is completely different than what we have discussed in case of GPS and uh, GLONASS. Here they now they are using uh, geostationary orbits as well as geosynchronous orbits and uh, uh, twen and 27 uh, medium earth uh, orbits uh, in which different satellites are there. So, the ad advantage of uh, geostationary orbits that at least 5 satellites access or data from 5 satellites all the time would be available over China. That That is a big advantage India Indian system is also being developed along this line where we will be also uh, putting or have already put uh, some geostationary satellites. Uh, as you know that uh, there are different types of orbits are there like geostationary orbit, sun synchronous orbit, geosynchronous orbit, uh, low earth orbit, medium earth orbit or inclined also. So, in case of as you know that in geo, geostationary orbit like Indian examples are there like in set a series of satellites mainly the purpose of these satellite earlier was communication, but now these satellites have become completely uh, multi purpose satellites. Not only they are providing uh, facility or platform for data communication or telephone communication, but same time they are also now being used for uh, uh, this uh, navigation as well as uh, they are also having some camera. So, they provide uh, data every half an hour and so of a of a, an image or a multi spectral image. So, those kind of multi purpose uh, applications are there with geostationary satellite. Uh, geostationary uh, orbit is called when uh, your satellite uh, uh, moves as earth moves. So, in a relative sense it becomes uh, fixed or stationary with reference to the earth, but both are both things are moving like in our childhood it, it is said that when two trains are, are going at same speed then in relative motion uh, they are uh, they, they are just having the same speed or uh, they are synchronized. So, here also that uh, the movement of the earth has been synchronized with the movement of the satellite or vice versa in that sense and uh, this uh, always keep looking towards a particular country part of the globe. And uh, whereas geosynchronous satellites uh, they uh, they are designed these orbits have been designed to period uh, uh, to have a orbital period matching with the earth side real rotation period. That means that this uh, uh, synchronous means that for an observer at a fixed location on the earth a satellite in geosynchronous orbit returns to the exactly same place in the sky at exactly the same time and each day. So, the design of these orbits have been like this so that you get whenever there is overpass over a fixed location say uh, from say Rurki. So, whenever it will overpass it will pass at exactly at the same time. There are also similar kind of set, uh, satellite orbits are there which are sun synchronous remote sensing satellites uh, like IRS, CARTO set, resource set, land set all these are sun synchronous satellite, polar near polar orbiting satellites. So, in which they overpass uh, or uh, overpass a local time which is almost uh, within 50 minutes or 1 hour time. So, the timing uh, there also is the almost same time, almost same time, but not exactly 
in case of geochronus uh, chronus satellite they pass uh, exactly same time and uh, at each day so that is the advantage with this so chinese have exploited uh, this uh, this geosynchronous orbit as well as geostationary orbit and also they are putting 27 satellite in medium earth orbit this uh, baidu system this is how it is pronounced uh, it is a, a second not the first one because first one initially developed some problems also it completely it was planned for uh, regional purposes now baidu 2 which is the current one uh, which is developed uh, for, for as an independent global satellite navigation system so uh, there is a no um, basically there is no uh, Uh, dependency over uh, GPS or GLONASS, so it's a completely independent system. And uh, see the uh, when uh, when US developed this GPS and uh, Russians developed this GLONASS, their main purpose was the army or military for military purposes. Same thing with the Baidu also that originally it is planned for military purposes. It is being used, but now uh, some. and uh, some frequencies have been made available to the civilian use even in india we get the signals uh, easily from baidu as well so baidu system is not an basically a extension of previously deployed baidu one but it's a, a new gnss similar in principle to G, gps and galileo but not really exactly as we have discussed that uh, uh, the orbits of those uh, navistar satellites are completely different then what we are having in case of baidu and uh, baidu navigation system is a, as we know that is a chinese system developed by government of china is consist of two separate satellite constellations one is the uh, baidu one which consist of three satellites which since 2000 has offered limited coverage and navigation services mainly for users in china and neighboring regions and the baidu one was and decommission at the end of 2012 and uh, the second generation of the system that is baidu 2 or the current one is also known as compass or baidu 2 became operational in china in december 2011 with partial constellation of 10 satellites in orbit but later on uh, uh, many more satellites have also been offered the the availability of signals that has also bid in so since december 2012 it has been offered services to customers in asia pacific region that is why we also get uh, good quality signals from baidu and uh, this uh, uh, the main purpose to provide global navigation services by 2020 so uh, in few years time it will it will have a full constellation that is in uh, basically in the year to uh, uh, 2020 and it would be almost similar in 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 from point of view of service uh, for navigation signals point of view it would be similar or maybe better as we will be seeing in case of uh, indian system because it is exploiting geostationary satellites and other so for some parts it would be better may not be other uh, for other parts so for mainly for china or asia pacific region it may be better better means that it will the signals which we will use can give a better accuracy compared to gps and glonass so it is a going though galileo here mentioned is a regional completely a regional system and uh, like in india we don't get signals uh, from galileo now these orbits way which we have uh, just discussed and uh, we will be uh, touching one by one that uh, the, there are uh, uh, six types of orbital planes which are being exploited and uh, six orbital planes and uh, total satellites planned are 35 uh, by 2020 it will be the full constellation will be there and uh, currently uh, as per the latest information uh, 22 satellites are already in different orbits the initial and uh, the project started in october 2000 and the uh, latest uh, launch was in february 2018 total launches so far 25 and uh, there are three orbits which have been mentioned here the red one is the geosynchronous uh, earth orbit as mentioned that uh, it uh, it overpasses or the it it comes in the sky exactly at the same time every day 
So that is uh, uh, the biggest advantage of uh, this uh, orbit and uh, there are many satellites in this orbit, five number of total in future complete when we will have complete installation of uh, a constellation of uh, Baidu then five satellites would be there in this uh, geo orbit. Then MEO which is medium earth orbit as you can see that uh, these, these satellites are going to be quite close to the earth and uh, they are going to be uh, 27 satellites in total in the MEO orbit which is shown here in the uh, blue color and then one more uh, uh, or orbit in which uh, uh, three satellite will be there which is inclined geo Cronus uh, orbit IGSO as you can see in the uh, this gray color also. Uh, so, uh, these uh, uh, three types basically three types of orbits uh, are being used. Here uh, uh, there are two more orbits have been mentioned just for completeness because uh, we are using medium earth uh, orbit. So, what are the highly elliptical there are one more orbit which is highly elliptical or HEO HEO orbit is there and there is also of course uh, low earth orbit which is more close to the earth as you can see here the low earth orbit. And uh, of course, the uh, geosynchronous orbit is also shown here, MEO is also shown here. For completeness, this figure is also quite important. Now, uh, other uh, uh, parameters uh, characteristics of uh, Baidu are that uh, five geosynchronous uh, or geo uh, satellites, they are located at these uh, different locations and uh, uh, which are giving here and uh, then uh, uh, the altitude is uh, uh, quite uh, means they are very far from earth and 35,786 and uh, then 27 mu satellites uh, which, uh, which will be once the constellation is completed in 2020 then there will there these, these satellites the altitude is uh, medium earth so it is around 21,528. If you recall that uh, 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 GPS satellites are around 20,200 uh, 20, kilometer, so quite close and uh, your GLONASS are uh, 20,000 kilometer. So, it is almost in the uh, nearby envelopes uh, of uh, in the space these satellites are there which are in large in number 27 and they, they, the inclination is 55 degree number of planes uh, the three uh, orbital planes in which uh, these 27 satellites have been put and, uh, the, and that's one each satellite will uh, complete its cycle or one orbit in 12 hour 53 roughly. Uh, uh, so, it is not uh, exactly is coming on the same time because it is 12 hour 53 minutes, but uh, uh, from positioning point of view or getting the data and estimating the position uh, all lot many satellites. Uh, for all locations in Asia Pacific region would be available from Baidu system as well. And uh, as also earlier we discussed that uh, there are three IGSO that is inclined geosynchronous orbit uh, uh, satellites are there which is located at 118 degree east. Inclination is same as in case of MEO satellites and altitude is almost uh, same as uh, geo satellites. So, 35,786 kilometer. So, this completes the uh, constellation characteristics or orbital uh, constellation of uh, Baidu. Now, uh, there are these uh, different types of satellites uh, uh, which we or orbits which we have discussed that geo, IS, IGSO and MEO. So, of course, the uh, this uh, agency which is uh, doing this all work if for China is a Chinese space agency, uh, space uh, technology uh, and these satellite platforms are of uh, 3 by 3B D, B, DFH and uh, the lifetime design lifetime for uh, GEO and IGSO is about 15 years whereas MEO satellites is 12 years. As you know that uh, when uh, uh, satellites are uh, having or they are when they are put in a orbit which is very far from the earth generally the life is more compared to the satellites which are close to the earth and that is why you are seeing that in case of uh, uh, this uh, uh, geo and igso satellites they they are their life uh, is uh, 
15 years because say about 15 years design life because they they are they are at 35,786 kilometer away from the earth and uh, whereas uh, in case of mu mu orbit uh, orbital satellites the distance is not that much as compared to uh, geo or igso this is only 21528 so that is why um, the age or the design life of these satellites is less compared to uh, uh, geo and igso satellites and uh, weight wise also there is a lot of difference between weight because some uh, which medium mu satellites uh, might be multi purpose here so there might be more uh, electronics over it maybe scanners and other things so that is why when you are having lot of on board camera and other instruments then weight may increase now important part is coming is about signals so instead of calling l1 l2 l3 or l5 and uh, they have started calling b1 b2 and b3 and uh, for both types of uh, or all three types of uh, orbital satellites uh, b1 is open and authorized access is available b2 is completely open and b3 is completely restricted so it is um, a, a, a restricted or authorized access means it is might be only for the chinese army here sometime they may allow sometime may not allow in case of b1 but b2 is completely open in all cases an on board atomic frequency standard which they have followed is 2rb which is identical in all three types of satellites additional capabilities both set or all three types of satellites are having laser reflectors cosmic ray registration and other things because nowadays it is not the single or uni purpose of all these satellites each country is trying that they should have multi purpose satellites so they can uh, not only for navigation purposes for or other purposes also they can exploit now why do transmits navigation signals in three frequencies bands b1 b2 and b3 which are in the same area of l band which you, you uh, which you are seeing here uh, that uh, l1 l2 and l l5 is there in the l band so this is this covers the entire uh, l band here uh, of uh, other signals but of course the frequencies are going to be different so to benefit from signal interoperability of baidu with the Gal uh, galileo and gps and uh, china has announced that uh, migration of its civil b1 that is open and authorized access uh, from uh, 1561.098 megahertz to a frequency centered at 1575.42 megahertz and this would be the same as the gps l1 and galileo e1 uh, for civilian so this uh, this frequency is completely open for um, civilians and the transmission from a quad a quadrature phase shift key with this which is qpsk modulation to a multiplex binary offset from carrier mboc modulation similar to future gps l1 uh, l1 l1c and galileo e1 this uh, when we have been discussing about navista gps of us we have discussed about l1c also now and for the comparisons that uh, which uh, navigation system or gnss uh, is fitting where which frequency they are using so it's a uh, sort of in that sense is a comprehensive uh, uh, picture is here uh, for uh, as l1 you are seeing for the gps as you can see here and for l2 also for the gps and l5 whereas uh, in case of uh, a european or galileo satellites the e1 e2 e5 e5b and e5a they are there and uh, these uh, b1 for the baidu b12 again for baidu and uh, b3 these are also there so each uh, navigation system though they are using l bands l band of uh, em uh, spectrum part of em spectrum but at different uh, locations and so therefore the frequencies are uh, different within uh, within different bands so that is why you are seeing here so in case of uh, uh, baidu that 
0.098 megahertz and 1589 7.42 megahertz for uh, B12 and for B2 is 1268 megahertz 1268.52 megahertz and for B3 1207.14 megahertz and the uh, Galileo frequency as you can see is uh, they are using a much more uh, uh, frequencies almost they are overlapping with Baidu and GPS but remember that Galileo is a regional system so uh, here we do not get uh, uh, much problem or issues related with this overlapping and uh, of course uh, one uh, this uh, uh, synthetic aperture radar downlink uh, location is also shown so that uh, uh, that frequency is also being used by these uh, radar satellites to transmit data towards the earth. So, a part of a spectrum which uh, of EMS spectrum which is specifically part of L band in microwave region has been divided in different components, different sections, different bands and uh, each country uh, with the sort of coordinated manner they are using all this uh, signals. So, if we look the uh, spectral characteristics of uh, navigation signals then uh, B1, B2 and B3 which uh, Baidu is uh, going to use or being is using that uh, carrier frequencies in case of B1 is 1575.42, carrier frequency in case of B2 1191.79 and uh, uh, similarly for B3 it is 1268.52. So, you are having signals in B1, you are having signals in B2 and different bands have been assigned PRN code and du uh, duration and symbols. These codes are assigned. So, sometimes when you uh, plot the location or see a sky plot of uh, these uh, GNSS systems and uh, they are uh, they are shown as a PRN number because this is the unique ID. Uh, given for each satellite and uh, this is basically pseudo random noise, but uh, it also identifies the satellite. So, this uh, this code is given for uh, uh, these uh, bands also for B1 and uh, B2. There are different clock rates are there and type of modulations we have touched a little bit about this uh, about uh, like uh, QP, SK and others. We have uh, discussed about this briefly and uh, data symbol rate and uh, per uh, bit per seconds are also there as per requirements for uh, uh, here see the rate, uh, rate is much higher as compared to other bands on in B1, B2. So, B3 is because it is only for military purposes as you have seen that B3 is available uh, through authorized access. Now, the reference system, geodetic reference system, each uh, navigation uh, systems, GPS is using uh, earth centric, earth, uh, uh, earth focus ECEF uh, that uh, geodetic reference system, uh, GLONASS is using some other one, whereas the Baidu is using a, a different one. Uh, only thing as also in uh, our previous discussion, we have seen that uh, uh, some uh, little uh, variations in different parameters are there because uh, earth is not perfect as provide one and each country would like to have the best for its own locations and therefore, they go for their own uh, geodetic reference system. So, in case of Baidu because the motion parameters which transmitted in IGCS 2000 which is China geodetic coordinate system and uh, developed in 2000. So, that is what it is being followed for Baidu. Its origin is the center of mass of the whole earth and uh, that is uh, shown here and then uh, uh, it is a z axis uh, uh, directs from the origin to reference pole which is also shown here to the international reference uh, pole, uh, pole of the International Earth Rotation Service that is IERS reference pole or international reference pole also called. So, that means that uh, uh, these motion parameters have been set uh, through this uh, Chinese ge geodetic systems in this manner uh, which are little different uh, than word geodetic spread or 
the other one uh, with the GLONASS. And uh, its uh, x axis, as you can see, is a x axis here and uh, directs from the origin to the intersection between uh, that uh, IERS, IERS International uh, uh, Earth Rotation Service and uh, reference meridian and uh, the plane perpendicular to z axis. So, they along with this where it cuts that uh, is uh, the origin of the x axis in uh, here also. Now, the its y axis uh, completes a right handed right center earth fixed earth fixed uh, E C E F earth center earth fixed and uh, the same uh, there for y axis as in case of uh, uh, GPS and which is orthogonal coordinate system. So, uh, some parts are common as I have said that each country is trying to have the uh, best location for themselves and therefore, they uh, keep changing little bit in these reference systems. Uh, in the previous lectures we have uh, when we have been discussing about GPS or GLONASS we have uh, also touched upon earth centered earth fixed system and uh, which is a, a coordinate system which has the x axis in the earth's equatorial plane as, as you can see here this is earth uh, axis and uh, uh, pointing to uh, Greenwich uh, prime meridian and uh, the z axis pointing to the north pole here and, uh, and the y axis in the equatorial plane that is 90 degree from the x axis with an orientation which forms a right handed x y z system. So, uh, y, uh, y axis is also here as you can see. So, it is a uh, as it is mentioned that uh, uh, the orientation which forms a right handed x y z system which is what uh, is uh, followed in the coordinate systems as well. Now, by the geodetic reference and different uh, values uh, which, uh, which are here that the semi major axis of ellipse is uh, having this much of the uh, length and flattening factor has been taken this one, angular velocity has been taken this one, gravitational constant mu is uh, this one and speed of light in vacuum is uh, this one. So, this is Chinese geodetic uh, reference system is there uh, of 2000. Now, the time because in each system uh, it has to have a synchronized uh, clocks and uh, some time with some reference time. So, Chinese universal global time is defined as Baidu system time scale based on atomic frequency standard set maintained in the system control center in the Beijing. And this uh, time this Baidu system time BDT is continuous time scale steered to UTC reference with 100 nanoseconds offset. So, it is not exactly uh, UTC time, but uh, little having offset of 100 nanoseconds. So, BTC every GNS system will have their also time origin of the time. So, they, they have fixed the origin of 00 hours on January 1st, 2006. So, this is how a, it basically completes in that sense uh, the reference system as well as uh, uh, time reference which they have been following. And BDT, the GBS and GST. Uh, offsets are being measured and broadcast uh, so that uh, we get the correct signals. Now, as we have also seen in case of uh, GPS and GLONASS, there are segments. All uh, all navigation systems, all GNSS are having three major segments. First one is control segment. Now we are going to discuss about the control segment. So control segment includes the uh, master control stations. Uh, and uh, for uploading stations, uplinking stations, widely distributed monitoring stations. So, each GNSS will have uh, control stations, monitoring stations, uplinking stations and uh, they are they have planned for 30 monitoring stations for from uh, or on dif from different parts of the globe and uh, only two uplinking stations and of course, one uh, all these systems are having one master control station. So, similar to the uh, control of other GNSS constellations, the MCS uh, receives data master control uh, station also receive data from monitoring stations which track the constellation continuously. And if 
if these satellites though they are in three type three different types of orbits if they deviate that information is fed to the master control station and then corrections are sent through this uplinking station so uh, this upload station send data generated information by monitoring stations to the satellites and then all satellites are brought back into the uh, in the correct designed orbit there are two uh, level levels of service provided by baidu uh, open access or also called the free service to civilians and licensed or access uh, through the authorized access service to chinese government and military which is definitely is uh, more accurate than what we get to the civilians so free civilian service has positioning accuracy of uh, uh, 10 meter as you can see and uh, timing accuracy of 20 nanoseconds for most of the applications in the civilian domain and uh, this uh, a clock accuracy is quite good 10 meter for positioning accuracy may not be good but if you if you use uh, uh, the uh, signals from other constellations or other gnss systems then this can be improved and it is being done also and the velocity accuracy is 0.2 meter per second again it is quite good in that sense and restricted military service has a location accuracy of 10 cm see the compare with 10 meter and 10 cm so as mentioned already that uh, the restricted uh, in the b3 band uh, they are having this uh, 10 cm uh, cm accuracy which can be used for communication and will supply information about system status to the user and uh, to date the military service has been granted only to the people's liberation army chinese army and to this is very important and to the military of pakistan because pakistan do not have their own gns system neither they they have planned anything so they are uh, by because of some agreements or geopolitical reasons they are getting the same accuracy as uh, chinese army are getting so this point is important to note here so this brings to the end of uh, discussion related with uh, baidu and uh, as usual normally i am leaving with uh, some cartoon to enjoy and uh, have a fun after each lecture thank you very much